Dynon have anything new here at the show that uh, you are introducing or have you recently uh, developed? Well, with the Skyview, we continue to develop new software on it all the time. So uh, we're enhancing the GPS navigation on it and we're working on other functions as well. We don't have any new hardware at the show, but again, the, the Skyview is always new because of the, the new uh, software that we add to it. I've long heard that you guys intend to do absolutely everything Garmin can do at one time or another uh, going into the future. Our, um, our intention, our mission is to do everything on the panel that the pilot needs. So answering it a little bit differently, in some cases we hope to do things that Garmin doesn't do, and I think that's actually true right now. We are working on comm radio, which will integrate totally with the Skyview. It, it will have a separate control head for frequency, uh, manual frequency and manual volume. Other than that, it will integrate with the Skyview and the entire Skyview database with air traffic control and airport information. Uh, frequencies can be uh, will be automatically uploaded to the comm radio. We have the uh, primary flight display with uh, synth synthetic vision. Uh, we think it's the uh, highest resolution uh, available on the market, also the brightest, crispest, fastest responding display. On the Skyview uh, flight system, we um, have the primary flight display with the airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed. We have the HSI which is a directional gyro. Across the top, we have the autopilot enunciator and your transponder enunciator. On the uh, bottom, we have the, the menus. We can toggle on or off the different displays. Right now, I have just the engine display up, and I'll turn on just the primary flight display or just the moving map. And let me zoom in here. The very, very fast graphics on the map for people who want a re totally redundant system, you can have two displays. We don't dedicate one to just a primary flight display and one to a multifunction display. Either one can do both. And then uh, for IFR flight, people often want a totally separate functionality as, a, as another backup. Uh, you can put analog gauges in, but we say on a modern panel, uh, there's no reason to do that for lower cost, less weight, and actually a lot more reliability. You can put our EFAS D6 in, which is a complete uh, a six pack of instruments, airspeed, attitude, altitude, heading. Uh, so you can fly the plane uh, just totally off that one instrument. It has several hours of battery backup on it. So you lose everything else and you can, you can actually the, the sky views are also battery backed up. Uh, so there's a lot of redundancy built in, but you lose elect ship's electrical and really you lose no functionality at all. Starting with the Skyview, uh, it starts at about $4,800 uh, $4, and a complete system like this, excluding the, uh, the Garmin, is probably about uh, $10,000 or $11,000. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah, Al, it's a pleasure. For AOPA Live, I'm Al Marsh.